A new use for robots could help to save your life. Johns Hopkins Medicine is using lifelike robots to simulate emergencies and train its employees for situations where they might not get a second chance. Weijia Jiang shows us around the state-of-the-art facility in Baltimore. One more push. Even when the patient is a robot, delivering a baby can be chaotic and stressful for doctors. You got it, you got it, Noel. Especially when something goes wrong. So the baby looks like they might need a little extra attention, so I'm going to call NICU. Here at Johns Hopkins Medicine, there's a little cry. Medical professionals are getting real world experience in a simulated setting. Good, right there you go. The patients are plastic, but that doesn't mean they're lifeless. The mannequins actually breathe and they actually can blink their eyes, they can speak. We can change their heart rate, we can change their blood pressure, their breathing rate. The center tries to make simulations like this 15 year old in cardiac arrest. Yep. Three, two, one. As authentic as possible, from the equipment to the conversations. But your rate is good. The level of realism enables us to look at teamwork, look at communication factors, and uh, engages the learner much more than when it was a static white room. This group of OBGYN residents works quickly to make sure the newborn is okay as their professor watches every move. We're giving calcium. Mistakes are encouraged in these hands-on moments. It's absolutely made me a better physician when I go out and treat my real patients. Do we have any recent labs? Resident Dr. Amy Manzo is caring for this four day old with a heart problem in the pediatric ICU. If you make a mistake, you know they're not, you're not actually going to hurt them. And you can take the lessons you learn here in the simulation center and apply them to your real patients. My blood pressure is a little lower. Life saving lessons for when it really counts. Weijia Jang, CBS News, Baltimore.